Today, I'm going to show you how to make a bow hold. So it's important to really have your hand and all your fingers really relaxed. Uh, I like to tell my students to think of your hand as being Play-Doh so that you can really shape it and it should be soft and not hard and inflexible, but it should be flexible. So start by draping your hand, your fingers over the stick of the bow with the creases of these middle two fingers, in other words, the back of the joints being on the top of the stick. And the pinky should be on its tip on the top back octagonal side of the bow on the stick right here, but not on the adjusting screw, not on this, this part, but rather right behind it. Okay, so I'll show you there. And then your thumb should go halfway on the bump here of the frog and halfway on the stick and you'll have part of the grip also, the black rubbery part. And you wanna make sure that your thumb is point, this joint is pointing outward like that and not collapsed. This will give you a better hold. You'll have uh, more control with the fingers and more flexibility and ability to do things like this, like move around the bow. Basically our hand acts as a rudder, like on a, a boat to steer the bow in the direction we want. So the pinky is quite important. It's, a, it's uh, crucial that you have it a little bit on the back of the bow, the stick, while these other fingers are in the front. So I talked about these middle fingers being on the stick at the joints. Now your index finger, when your bow is on the string on the violin, you will rotate your hand or pronate towards your index finger. And for me, my stick, the stick of the bow ends up being between these two joints. So I have a little divot in here from years of playing. Uh, but it doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> so once I put my violin up, it'll look like this. Let me see if you can see better this way. Also, we have a little bit of a backwards letter and flattened letter C. Uh, you can have some space in between there. If you look here, there's a little bit of a hollow, uh, you could call it a bowl. <laughs> Uh, notice the curved pinky bent thumb. So it's important that you have a very flexible hold also. At first it will seem difficult. So what I recommend is, uh, let's see, take, take anything in your hand. It could be a pencil. I have a bottle of cream. <laughs> and just practice doing this. So it's really balancing on my thumb and I'm moving it back and forth, up and down, pinky, index finger, like that. You can also practice lifting your fingers up, letting it drop, but still holding it. 